I'm going to start at K. Uh, bank loans to the deposit insurance funds. This is continuing. One, loans authorized. Subject to paragraph three, the federal home loan banks may, upon the request of the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, make loans to such corporation for the use of the deposit insurance fund. Two, liability of the fund. Any loan by the Federal Home Loan Bank pursuant to paragraph one shall be a direct liability of the deposit insurance fund. Three, interest on and security for such loans. Any loan by a Federal Home Loan Bank pursuant to paragraph one shall a bear a rate of interest not less than such bank's current marginal cost of funds taking into account the maturities involved and b be adequately secured l temporary author authority of treasury Temporary authority of treasury to purchase obligations conditions. One, authority to purchase a general authority. In addition to the authority under subsection I of this section, the secretary of treasury is authorized to purchase any obligations issued by any federal home loan bank under any section of this chapter on such terms and conditions as the secretary may determine and in such amounts as the secretary may determine. Nothing in this subsection requires a federal home loan bank to issue obligations or securities to the secretary without mutual agreement between the secretary and the federal home loan bank. Nothing in this subsection permits or authorize the secretary without the agreement of the federal home loan bank to engage in open market purchases of the common securities of any federal home loan bank. B, emergency determination required in connection with any use of this authority, the secretary may determine that such actions are necessary to I provide stability to the financial markets, uh, I, I, or to uh, prevent disruptions in the availability of mortgage finance, and I, 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 or three, protect the taxpayer C considerations to protect the taxpayers the secretary of the treasurer shall take into consideration the following in connection with exercising the authority contained in this paragraph I or one the need for preferences or priorities regarding payments to the government I, I, limits on maturity or disposition of obligations or securities to be purchased. I, 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 or three, the federal home loan banks plan for the orderly uh, resumption of private market funding or capital market access. I'm going to read that one again. I, 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 or three, the federal home loan banks plan for the orderly resumption of private market funding or capital marketing access. I got to look up resumption. Uh, I, V, or four, uh, the probability of the federal home loan bank fulfilling the terms of any such obligations or other security, including repayment five or V the need to maintain the federal home loan banks status as a private shareholder 
owned company. Uh, V I or six restrictions on the use of federal home loan bank resources, including limitations on the payment of dividends and exclusive compensation and any such other terms and conditions as appropriate for those purposes. D reports to Congress. <clears throat> Upon exercise of this authority, the secretary shall report to the committees on the budget, financial services, and ways and means of the House of Representatives and the committees on the budget, finance, and banking, housing, and urban affairs of the Senate as to the necessity for the purchase and the determination made by the secretary under sub paragraph B and with respect to the considerations required under sub paragraph C and the size terms and probability of repayment or fulfillment of other terms of such purchase to rights Sales of obligations and securities. A. Exercise of rights. The Secretary of Treasury may at any time exercise any rights received in connection with such purchases. B. Sales of obligations. The Secretary of Treasure, Treasury may at any time subject to the terms of the security or otherwise upon terms and conditions and at prices determined by the secretary sell any obligation required by the secretary under this subsection c uh, the deficit reduction the secretary of treasury shall deposit in the general funds of the treasurer any amounts received by the secretary from the sale of any obligation required by the secretary under this subsection where such amounts shall be I or one dedicated for the sole purpose of the def deficit reduction and I, I or two prohibited from use as an offset for other spending increases or revenue reductions. D application of sunset to purchased obligation application of sunset to purchase obligation i gotta look that up too the authority of the secretary of treasure to hold exercise any rights received in connection with or sell any obligations purchased is not subject to the provisions of paragraph four Three, funding for the purpose of the authorities granted in this subsection, the Secretary of Treasury may use the proceeds of the sale of any securities issued under Chapter 31 of Title 31 and the purposes for which securities may be issued under chapter 31 of title 31 or extended to include such purchases and the exercise of any rights in connection with such purchases. Any funds expended for the purchase of or modifications to obligations and securities or the exercise of any rights received in connection with such purchases under this subsection shall be deemed appropriated at the time of such purchase modification or exercise for termination of authority the authority under this subsection l with the exception of paragraphs two and three of this subsection shall expire December 31st, 2009. Five, authority 